What's good, y'all? Your boy Iron Angel here, back with another episode. Uh, just to let y'all know, I'm going to be posting a lot of Watch Dogs Legions. Uh, I wouldn't say back to back to back like in one day, but you'll see a lot of content of Watch Dogs Legion in the next week or so because Assassin's Creed Valhalla is coming out. Y'all know I'm a big Assassin's Creed fan, and I want to make sure I have time for that as well. And you know I play 2K and other games, so I'm trying to make room <laughs> to play the other games. So I'm like, okay, let me play this, post all the videos that I can of the story mode here, and that way I'll have time for Assassin's Creed. You have arrived at your destination, Bloom Complex. All this time she's been holed up in Bloom. Ever since Larson sold, well, me, to Bloom, she's maintained close ties with the company. This just gets better and better. And now she's hidden deep within this monstrosity of a complex. I wonder if their servers have data on her location. I've got this. It's not that many enemies in here. This shouldn't be too hard. All right, here we go. Oh, disgusting. Quickly, quickly. Oh, I forgot again. I'm just looking at my mask. I forgot to change my mask again. Man, I wanted to... Uh-oh. Oh, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. It ain't that many enemies in here anyway. And that's silencer, so they don't know what happened. Keep forgetting to put my gold mask on. I have this gold skull. Oh, no. Oh, great. Oh, I still got him. I still got him. Thank God. I didn't think that was going to work. I am honestly, y'all, uh, I'm really looking forward to the John Wick uh, character and what was the other one? Like the 007 Spy. I still haven't used those yet. I mean, obviously, because I'm just playing the main story, but I'm really looking forward to trying those out. Wait, I think I just went right by it. Yeah, here. Okay. I'm going to say it was a yellow mark. I was over here, but I didn't see anything. So, oh, okay, got it, got it. It's under me. That's why. I'm like, where is the yellow mark? All right, so I can use the drone to go down there. All right, I don't know if they explained that earlier. But <laughs> I wasn't listening earlier when they was talking to each other. Maybe they didn't say anything. I don't know. Regardless, I know what to do now. I'm making sure there ain't no enemy drones trying to destroy it. All right, we're good. All right, now where is the... Oh, here we go. Open sesame. Playing caution. Oh, wait a minute. Uh... I really like that the hacking in this game is not too complicated. Um, I was playing Watch Dogs 2 probably a month ago, and there were some parts where you really had to think hard, you know, to complete a situation when it came to hacking equipment or whatever. Here, not so much. I mean, so far, there's been some things that drag a little longer than it needs to be, but I wouldn't consider it hard. So I like that. I enjoy being a hacker and everything, but I hate it when the game wants to make it such a chore to get past something. I'm quite excited to share this with you, the board of directors. The facility will be an extension of my quantum computing lab and will house certain other endeavors that I prefer not to share during this presentation. This is valuable real estate you have under your feet. It's as if you've been waiting for me to put it to good use. What's this thing Larson's got with secret underground facilities, I swear? That's it then. Find an elevator down to this lab. Do I need this? I don't think I need this anymore. I would just hate to go back and... Oh, okay, never mind. I'm good. I'm good. I have a habit of not looking at the map. If I just look at the map, it tells me where I need to go. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Let's go, let's go. Code three, closest units, proceed to a long Woo! Location. That's a great look. I like it. Perfect. A little anonymity goes a long way. 
If I'm out here, they can't really know it's me, can they? Alarm triggered. Beginning I'm not even going to take that chance. I'm just going to let them walk by, Drone, do their I'll thing, and I'm going to sneak past. They probably won't even know it's me, but still. Y'all making this too easy. Me setting that alarm, actually, <laughs> it helped me out. That was an accident, too. We got all the security out of here, for the most part. Seriously. Man, okay, hey. If y'all if y'all get in this spot of the game, set the alarm off. <laughs> and then just let the enemies just lead their posts and everything. You can just walk right through. I mean, there's one guy here, but come on, man. I ain't thinking about this one guy. I was thinking about just shooting him, but, eh, I'm not going to take that. I'll just wait. Grab him and stun him. I don't want to kill him if I don't have to. Check neural upload status. 90%, not good enough. Load processor temperature. Holy shit, she's uploading herself. Jesus fuck, she's a few minutes away from immortality. If you don't kill her upload, we'll have no way of stopping her or daybreak. I wonder, this is probably a stupid question, but I wonder, is that actually possible to put your brain in a machine and you can still live for countless years? More than likely, no because this is all science fiction. But when you see movies that do this, because there's been a lot of plots in movies or TV shows and video games that does stuff like this. But after them doing it so many times, it does leave a question, like, is that even possible realistically? Like, who knows? Is Elon Musk or somebody working on something under the radar that we don't know about <laughs> and it actually works? Elon, oh, whoa, whoa. Mate, you've uncovered a gold mine of data here. I'll harvest whatever I can while you save the world. What do I do? The neural upload is being routed through the quantum computers in this lab. Hacking them would stop the psychopath from becoming an AI augmented superintelligence, but no pressure or anything. I really hope doing this is not going to be difficult. I honestly just want to see what happens with this bad guy. Is she gonna have a? Is she gonna control a machine or what? Like, how am I gonna fight her? Uh, I'm confused. Wait, what? What am I supposed to do? Disable the left. Yeah, I. It's not. Hold on. It's locked. So. Oh, okay. All right. I'm about to say, it says lock. What am I supposed to do? But now it makes sense. All right, got to solve this puzzle. This one don't look that hard. And they got a drone in there, so I'm pretty sure I got to use that to get the right angle. But yeah, like when you play games like this, watch movies that has plots, you know, similar to this. I don't know, it just, it seems impossible, but still, you have to ask like if I knew Elon Musk or just met him I would ask that question I'm like is it possible if y'all haven't done it already <laughs> to have somebody's brain in the computer and they actually still in somewhat are still alive probably not fully functional to remember everything but they're still there because I know like in the hospital they have these machines that you know for people who are about to pass away they have these machines that keep you going but that's not really the same. It's a little different on that. Corbett's disentangling connections rebooted. This isn't an accident. All right. But yeah, it's just me rambling. When I play games like this, I always ask questions. You know, can you do this in real life? And who knows? Maybe 
a thousand years after I'm going from this earth, they'll have something like that. Uh, there we go. You're here, aren't you? You didn't heed my warning. press this button and watch tons of drones gonna show up watch you know what's gonna happen what are you doing redirecting memory access I guess not <laughs> I'm sitting there waiting I'm like what's gonna pop out alright so I gotta do the same thing here but it is something to think about, like a thousand years from now, how would the world be like when it comes to technology? It's going to be crazy. Like, oh man, just that thought. Like when you see the commercial of Cyberpunk or what's the um, one with Harrison Ford, you Blade Runner? You should have away. You are making the biggest mistake of your life and you will pay dearly for it. That make me pay dearly. Where's the bad guys at? I'm really just doing puzzles to beat you? Is this, this better not be a way... This better not be the way to beat you. But yeah, when you see Blade One, a Runner or the world of Star Wars, outside the lightsabers and all that. But um, is that how it will be a thousand years from now? I'm just rambling, but it, it does make you think. Stop, please, before it's too late. I'm not going to front. I'm glad I'm living in this timeline because I'm not the biggest fan of technology. So if it was like a whole world that was full of it like this, I wouldn't have been a fan. So I'm glad I'm in, you know, 2021. 2020, I mean. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, restart upload. Come on, restart upload. Security to the quantum lab. Security to the quantum lab. It's about time. Red. All right, let's do this. I was wondering. I'm like, where are the villains coming? This is way too easy. I'm sitting here talking about futuristic stuff that probably would never happen. Hey, y'all ain't saying no bad guys. Okay, here we go. Come oh on. You're making it too easy. This is the best y'all got. Oh my goodness, that was the best shot. All right, whatever. You deserve to die. Let's 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 end this. Listen let's, to me. Oh, whoa, what whoa, that started on me. Lab, that was nothing more than the early stages of a very important experiment. It may not be pleasant, but daybreak is the future of the human species. The only future, really. Man, woman, don't ever scare me like that again. That start that startled me. I'm running. All of a sudden, this thing pops up in my face. Do it again. Oh, now you don't want to do it. Okay, yeah, right. Look around. Corruption, climate change, nuclear war. Humanity is doomed to self-destruction. But Daybreak can change that. Help me bring about the next stage of human evolution. We can save lives. We can ascend. Sec, are you seeing all this? She's dying. You brought a friend. Everyone you killed and tortured. All of that was to save your sorry life. You're pathetic. This isn't about me. With our minds in the cloud, humanity can endure any natural disaster. We can be safe, free, and happy forever. I don't give a shit about humanity. You're a psycho brat who wants what she wants, and fuck everyone else, including your mother. You still have time to make things right. Reactivate my upload. Let me live so I can continue my work. Mate, you can't believe a single thing she says. Now shut down her life support and finish this. Whatever you decide, she can't stop you. I can't stop you. The choice is yours. Are they really giving me a choice? I have no desire. Please, don't. They really give me a choice. I have no desire for this woman yes. to stay alive. Do what's right. Yeah, right. 
I'm curious of what would happen, but no, I don't trust this person, no, at all. Please, don't do this to me. I'm doing it, watch me, watch me closely, I'm doing it right now. I don't want to die. Proud of you, mate. Nothing left to do now but take a few selfies with the corpse. Quickly, though. Security's on the way. Be careful. What if she was... Nah, there's no way she could have been a good guy. I was about to say, what if this uh, friendly hacker I'm teaming up with, what if she's a bad guy? What if she's part of Zero Day, even though I still believe the lady from the beginning is? But... I don't know. I, I, I Nah, I think I made the right choice. I am curious, though, to... To see what would happen if you did the other one. I gotta search up on YouTube or... Hold up, hold up. Oh wait, somebody's close too like me. I see that. What are you doing? I thought some look weird. Uh oh, whoa, whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. I thought some look weird. I'm like, wait a minute, what's wrong with my screen? Nah, you can't get close like me. Y'all don't know where I'm at. I know where you are. Oh wow, y'all brought the light machine guns out. Look at y'all. No, peek your head. Don't hide. Come on. There we go. Alright. That wasn't too hard. I am wondering though, what would have happened if I kept her alive? Obviously, the hacker wouldn't have been my teammate no more. I wonder what she would have done. I don't know. I didn't expect Watch Dogs to give you a choice like that, so I gotta look, I gotta research what happens if you go the opposite way. It's over. Larson is finished. Thank fuck. One less liar in the world. Still though, I can't help but think of those AI she created. Lobotomized, enslaved, shit. Whatever we have to do, we'll get it done. Together. Don't get soft on me now. This was a professional arrangement. Let's keep it that way. Laters. In the last adventure of Detective Bagley and his occasionally helpful human sidekicks, we discovered that a billionaire tech mogul and a war profiteer both had secret plots to exploit human suffering and murder thousands. A shocking twist, I know. Speaking of the people we most suspect, Mary Kelly's slave trade is bound to be any day now, and we also just received a distress signal from a coffee shop of all places. Maybe the Wi-Fi's down or something. Oh, is that relevant, Bagley? Yes, obviously there's more to it than that, but I knew I had to make a joke or you'd just tune it out. I've marked both leads on your optic. Hey, Softy. Eh? You must be rubbing off on me, cos... I just wanted to say... You did good back there. I'm glad to know I can trust you lot. You're free to use the 404 hubs and complete contracts. I'll be out there, fighting the good fight. Hope I'll see you out there too. Laters.